So hey, what's going on you guys? Uh, this is your boy Rogue Exploration. I'm down here in East St. Louis entirely alone as usual. And normally I shout out, I do shout outs for the smaller channels, but I'm doing one for a bigger channel. The shout out is for the Steel City Storm. Paul and Steve, they're brothers up in Northwest Indiana. And they got awesome content, Midwest Flesh and Steel City Storm. I met a couple of the other guys that used to run with them. I've never met those gentlemen, but hopefully this summer I do. It's okay, Steel City Storm, Midwest Flesh. This is for you guys, stay tuned. We're getting ready to go in. So hey, what's going on you guys? I have returned to the church in East St. Louis, Illinois. This time completely alone. I gotta figure out how to get through here. Holy shit. So you got stuff like that hanging. Okay. Let me figure this out. And I'll be back momentarily. Okay, I think I have. I think I figured it out. It took me a couple of minutes to get my bearings straightened out. Okay, I know where I'm at. I just came in the back way the last time I was here. Yeah, the reason I returned to do this alone, uh, I'm not going to collaborate with anybody anymore. And I'm not really going to elaborate on that. A whole lot there's only one group I'm interested in and they're pretty far away and I want to shout them guys out too uh, they're known as the Steel City Storm and they're up in the Northwest Indiana area I've been following them for years but I've never met the met the guys so we're gonna go upstairs and I've already spotted my exit. Get back to my vehicle. So, all right, you guys, stay tuned. Okay. Now this was the area the last time I was here. I'm not gonna walk through that. That's like walking on landmines. <laughs> That's where, as a matter of fact, I can see the hole that I made through these floors. They are spongy. That's the hole that I made when my foot crashed through the floor last time I was here. And this is gonna be, in my opinion, a much better video than the last time. The only thing is I'm way the hell out here all by myself. As you can see, you can't even hardly see the other end of the building. In the summertime, you'd never even know this was here whole back side of this is blown out so ooh, this feels kind of spongy <clears throat> there's the upstairs I'm gonna go up there in a minute Bible still here it's okay you guys <clears throat> Give you the 360, 360 tour. What the hell is that? There's somebody out there moving around. Okay, I just seen somebody move through there. Okay. Uh, hang on, you guys. I'm going to go upstairs. 
Okay. Oh, wow. See, that's what I don't like about all this debris. There's a hole big enough to put a foot through. And you don't always know exactly what you're stepping on. But as you guys know, I've been up in here before. I'm going to stay along this wall. Because this is probably the safest, strongest part of the structure. So there it is. Yes, and I'm treading very, very lightly. This is a little bit more sketchy than the video makes it look. As you can see through there, you can see all the way down to the floor I was just on. And then you can see the basement floor from there. So if you was to crash through this at this height, uh, I don't give the odds of survivability very good. I think there's one more floor up there, but I'm not going up there. That is way too sketchy. That, that is an accident waiting to happen. And I don't know if you guys can see off in the distance. There's the escape. Literally, it's a Ford Escape. <laughs> My other car. It's okay, you guys. I'm going to hit another section of this. I'm going to wrap this up. Get the hell out of here and go to the next spot. Do one more 360. There we go. I'd like to walk down these, get a better shot of down there. But as you can see, would you walk on that? Go ahead and leave a comment. Would you walk on that? I won't. I could cross this too and get over there, but that just goes to a blown out section of the building. Yeah, you can see all the way through the floor. Okay, you guys. Stay tuned. Okay. Here was another section that I was in on the last trip here. Man, this floor feels... This floor is bouncing. It is flexing. As I can see from the last time that I was here, something else has collapsed out of the ceiling. That big hunk of metal that you see there, I wasn't there the last time. And I stood right there the last time I was here. So see water coming in these stairs they're made out of metal but last time I walked up them they were flexing a little bit you can see lots of structural damage hard telling how long this place is set abandoned long time for sure so okay getting ready to wrap this up here in a few folks gotta find my way back out through the dark Oh, actually, I found another way out. But I'm going to go a little bit further back in here. Just for the video's sake. Show you guys how roached out this is. And you just walk right there. I'm sure there used to be a door right there. And right here is what I don't trust. These boards that have been placed on the floor. Makes me wonder if homeless or other urban explorers had placed them there as a warning or give you an indication of not to walk there yeah so wow this whole place is just completely roached out it's okay you guys i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here and i'll see you on the next one thank you for watching